here, I'm Emil and I'm married to Johnny, who's the minister at New Hills Parish Church. You may have seen his video, Meet the Minister, which was sort of about his likes and dislikes, which is one thing that's good to know, but I'm sure what you're wondering, the bigger question is, is he fit to lead the church? I've got this book here, fit to lead. So what I thought I would do is come up with some challenges that would test that. And I mean, none of them actually come from this book, but we're going to bring Johnny in and we're going to give him a try. Keep watching. Okay, so we've got Johnny here for challenge uh, number one. Um, challenge number one, Johnny. Let me explain. It's a Monday, which is your day off, of course. And in the distance, you see Myra, our session clerk, coming up the lane. She's come to speak to you about the communion seating plan. Now, it's your day off. You don't want to talk about the communion seating plan. You need to get away, you need to hide as quickly as you can. The only thing you can do is jump over this hedge. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. Here he is, getting prepped. I don't think he's going to do it, but it will be funny. Are you okay? Yeah. You join us inside for challenge number two. Now, Johnny, you don't really like tea, do you? No. Don't like drinking tea at all. However, in your job as a leader, you may often be offered tea and sometimes have to drink tea. So for challenge number two, when we make you a cup of tea, you have to drink the whole thing. Enjoy! <laughs> you join us again as we move on to challenge number three. Now, in the life of a leader, balance is very important. A minister needs to get good work-life balance. So what we're going to get you to do is balance on this lovely stump here behind us for five seconds on one leg. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Let's do it. And here he comes, getting into position. One leg in there, please. And I've got some special counters to help us count in five seconds. One, <laughs> two, oh. three, four, five. <laughs> Challenge completed. Well done. Ah. <coughs> and we're moving on to challenge number four. Now, being a leader means that you sometimes have to deal with quite weighty issues. So this challenge basically involves you using your strength to shift this car along the driveway to show that you can deal with weighty challenges. Johnny, did you have your porridge this morning? No, I had a banana. Okay, well, you up for the challenge? Absolutely. Let's give it a go. Let's go. Okay, here he goes. Steering the car, we have some help from the socially distant Jack. Normally in strongman competitions, they'd pull a jumbo jet, but Johnny's doing very well with his 1.4 box Astra. Oh, fantastic. And he smashed it. Hopefully he deals with my next breakdown just as well. It's time for challenge number five. Now, as we all know, churches can sometimes be a little bit on the chilly side, especially during the winter. So to really prepare Johnny for that, what I've done here is ran a cold bath, nice icy cold bath. He's going to get in it and then he's going to have to answer three questions correctly before he can get out. It's going to be great. Ugh. Do I have to go all the way under? Well, you don't have to put your head in it, but yeah, your your feet and your legs and your 
arms stay together. <sighs> Good enough. Uh, yeah, I think that will do. How's it feeling? Let's uh, ask the question. Okay, question number one. What's the first line in the Hebrew Bible? Bereshit uh, para Elohim. Is that good enough? <laughs> I mean, yeah, I think so. Um, yeah. How old was Moses when he died? Oh, like. Um, like 120 or something? Oh, yes, oh no! Which tribe did Samson belong to? <laughs> no way! Uh, the Judah? Nope! Oh. Dan! Dan. <laughs> Which king was Bernice the wife of? <laughs> oh, um, Hezekiah? No, it was Agrippa. Agrippa? In what book in the Bible are apples mentioned for the first time? Genesis? No! No, no way! Proverbs! Oh. Um, what was Timothy's grandmother called? Oh, oh I know this! Uh, uh, was it Eunice? No! no. <laughs> it's Lois! I thought that was an easy Lois. one! Oh, no way. What happened first? The beheading of John or the feeding of the 5,000? The two of the five. <laughs> it it's the beheading of John. These are the easy ones. Um, which Jewish holiday commemorating the saving of the Jewish people from Haman is recorded in the book of Esther? Booths? <laughs> <laughs> no. What's the name of God's only son? Jesus! Yes! Get out! Get out! Get out. Uh. <laughs> This is why you got that last one right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> why would anybody drink that whole entirely? Well, I hope you have enjoyed the meeting the minister part two as much as I have. You had a good time, Daddy? Had the best day ever. I knew it. I knew it. Um, so, in recognition of Johnny achieving his challenge, there's a couple of prizes here. Um, this book to add to your theological library. Well done. Thank you. And this pack of um, Thornton's Troubles, which were on sale in Co-op. Well done. You've, you've eaten them all. I've eaten all of them. <laughs> there's, still, there's still at least two in there. So, uh, congratulations. <laughs> Thank you for watching. And join us again for some more Johnny Challenges coming soon. No. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye.